Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Paul from Flutter Ferry. I'm very excited to be here with you guys this year. I want to say to everyone, Happy New Year. And I hope this year is going to be blessings for us all. So I just stumbled upon a comment this morning and this was four hours ago. And you can see what it says. I want to create a search list view. Is there a solution? And um, thank you. So we are going to create a search list view right now and we are going to also add the functionality of a auto um complete search and that's what we are going to do and i hope this is going to be something other people can learn from and also the um, poster of this the comment of this and which name i can't really pronounce here so let's just dive into coding and and uh we are going to do this from scratch there is no thing like copy pasting i have not planned this so we are doing all of this from scratch so that's what we are going to do now so let's just dive into the code i am running um the code right now i've created a project for this and i hope the commenter of this knows how to create a project so i don't really have to go and and um, do all those things so um we have our project structure right here i'm not going to make this anything complicated i'm just going to make things really simple here i don't want it to be complex so we have our main and we have our main here which is running our my app and our my app is a different file and which has a building method that um we have the we have the material app and the title to check his in floater so that's what um we'll be um, calling this series of showing floater is showcasing floater so i'll be posting more videos about short shots and um, um, things that um, we should know about floater like what we have in hand here like the search list with um custom comp uh, custom mode to complete something like that so we have the home page here and that's where everything is going to um, go in so as you can see we don't have anything in here so we are going to start creating everything bit by bit um, and some places i'm going to be fast forwarding it some places i'm going to leave it so um, um bear with me on that uh, yeah so the video can be shorter so um, what next we are going to um, do it's i'm going to show you our constant folder here that we have the user list so right here we have list of users in a map of string and dynamic and this i copied this from the type code users so you can actually visit the link on the description i'm going to show you i copied all this so we can use it to um, um imp implement this so i called it here is a const of users list and is a list of map of map string and dynamic data so it could be an integer it could be a list it could be a map so that's why it's here it's dynamic so uh, we are going to map this to a way that we are going to use it in our uh, projects we are not going to just use it as it is right here because it will make things a bit more complex for us so i'm going to go ahead here in the lib folder and create a folder called model and in the model i'm going to create a new user um, file and in there i'm going to um create the user class and we can go in the user list and see what we really need we need the name we need the username we need the email i think that's really what we want i think is the name and email we might need um yeah let's leave it at the name and email so let's not complex things so i'm going to create a final variable here um, name and also of string email and i'm going to generate a um, constructor here and uh, for the final and this is going to be a name constructor so and all of this is going to be required also 
and this is all required yeah and yes so we have our user and we should have a factory method called user um user from map and this will return our user so here is going to be a map of string and um, dynamic and this is going to be the data and you can see it here so map of string dynamic so that's what we are using here to um serialize this so i'm going to go into the data and the key so go into the data and get the key of a string and this would be in the user list here the name so if we call the name we'll get this name lena graham so i'm going to add the name here and also do that for email data and get the email let's see if that's correct yeah email and we are going to save this and that's all for the user and we are going to go to the um we are going to go to the page here and start creating our ui so we can see how things works so i'm going to um, add a body here and this body is going to be a column and yeah i'm going to create a colon and shall a children of um a children of a okay this will be a list view yeah list view builder okay, okay. so it'd be a list view builder okay first let me remove this widget and just create the list view builder first and this will take a context and an index so this will generate so let's create a list style for this and that's all that's not really all so we'll create some few things here like the title and this will take a widget of text and in the text we can just put some few things here i had my real name here paul idemekong and uh, yeah this is my real name <laughs> and next is going to be the subtitle yeah we'll get the um text also and we'll get the email and this is my email you can send a message on this yeah so here's my email and i'm going to send this to cons for now because everything here is constant so i'm going to save this and see how it goes on the ui so this is what we have the ui and i'm going to um, set the um, item count for this so i'm going to set it to 10 for now and um, that's it so we have our ui for the list view this is how when we search is going to look like and the next thing we are going to have is our text field for the search so i'm going to uh, i'm going to do something here i'm going to do something here i'm going to um wrap this with a column and wrap this with a an expandable widget so we have the expandable uh, expanded sorry <laughs> so i'm kind of thinking about the expandables right now okay so let's go into um let's go into this as the text field so we have the text field and and let's save this and see how that this looks yeah it's coming together so you can see everything is coming together here's the text field so it's actually at the top right now so let's do one thing so the thing we are going to do we are going to use safe area for this so we're going to do that we are going to wrap this with the safe area widget and what does that do it um make sure that um our widget is in the ui like where is visible really visible to the user so it doesn't take it up to the um status bar here 
so i'm going to save this and you see yeah you see everything is out nice like this so i'm going to wrap this um text field with a padding and yeah of 16 yes let's do it that way and what next i'm going to do i'm going to just set this to a const for now so we can just move it out so we have our text field and i'm going to do a little bit of I'm going to be do a little bit of design here so but it's not going to be much so let's give a title uh, that will be decorations and input decoration input decoration and in here we'll add a um a hint text so in the in text thing it takes yeah it takes a string we'll call that um, search something and yeah we'll save that you're going to see this so it's all looking it's all coming together so i don't think we should add much because we are really we really want to go straight to the point and hit um what we are here for because yeah because we don't really have time and next thing we are going to do here it's um the next thing we are going to do here the next thing we are going to do is um starting to make this come true for us in the sense that we import the um user list and start using it in the ui so first we are going to convert this to a stateful widget so we can use the state um the set states and rebuild our state whenever we want to change things here so that's what we are going to do and the next thing we are going to also do now is we're going to somehow create a list here of of users of user and this would be a getter and we are going to involve and uh, going to import this and get uh, we're going to get users and and import the users list yeah and we are going to map this yes we are going to map this into the user from map and pass in let's say here yeah, let's call this data and this data is a string of um dynamic and here yeah, this is what we are getting so yes the data so we are going there and we pass it in here and call the to list yes got it right <coughs> sorry and the next thing we're going to do now we are going to create a function that um searches um this that um searches this and and give us what we want so we are going to um create a new um, list of user and um we're going to call this search users um searched users and set this to an empty um list and we're going to create a function right now search um and query let's call it query is going to be an a private query users and this is going to take a string of um value so let's say we are searching for specifically a name let's do it that way we are searching for specifically a name let's pass in a name and in here we are we are going to call the list of users here and use the where method so what this where method does it goes in and check for the elements that um supports the test here from the name that is equals to the name so we are going to call this user and we are going to get the name we could just call this value uh, yeah let's call this value and in the user here we are going to say name and if name if name um yeah if name contains if name contains um value we should um, return that 
yeah and we are going to set this to our uh, and um, this will turn let's call it to list so and wrap this in a set state yes so uh, that is it and right now right now we are going to call this on the text field here so it's going to be on the unchanged so the text field we have the unchanged the unchanged what it does is whenever you're typing it takes whatever value you input here and, and emit it here in the function here to do right here so um this is going to be in all uh yeah we are you need to remove this yeah it's not it's not going to be a no we need to remove this const and place it in here for the ones that needs it and here we are going to call in the query users here and pass in the string we can just do this in here we can just do it and pass it that way and we rerun this and in the ui we can just get the search users and uh, in the item counts here we pass in the length of it of the search users in the search users okay so in in here in here i'll just um turn this to a block and final user and search users we get the index of it and we get the user now we can use the user in here and um, call it name yeah we should remove the constants and we also should get the user and the email as well username and the email so we save this and refresh let's see how it goes so if we uh, yeah so it can see it's all it's all working you so can see here so let's search for let's look for something in the user list here um something yeah let's search for nicholas yeah san nicholas and uh, let's paste this cool 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 looking looking at that is you can see it's working very well so with this um with all of this of such just like this you can you, you have searched the list of users we have here and if this is um you're actually getting this from a a network request you you should probably um, use a method like this you should always update the search users and also maybe call a a, a delay a, a way to delay whenever a user is typing in you, you make a delay of some um, seconds i'm going to implement that um maybe in the next video if you guys are happy with this <laughs> yeah which i i hope you guys are so we're going to create something like that a a delay that um whenever you're typing it get delayed for some seconds and make the network network request so we don't always um as we are typing we are making the call the network call at once so for this this is how it's going right now you can see for yourself uh um that everything is working here so you can see code this yes so that's all for this i i hope you understand how this is done and what is his name i hope you understand how this is done now so uh yeah i hope to see your reply on this thanks and god bless you don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more future um, videos from Flutter Ferry. Thank you. God bless you.